Welcome to Simran Memorial, home of the Spartan Way. Today is Tuesday, April 18th, 2023, and it is a B-Day. I'm Yaroslav, your CMTV host, and let's get into the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Are you interested in purchasing a gift for a graduating Spartan? Student Council is fundraising by selling customizable singing CMHS graduation bears. These bears are more affordable than competitors that sell the same item. Scan the QR code on the screen to see what is available for purchase. Seniors, check your email if you want to nominate a song and quote for your class of 2023 graduation. You can only nominate one song and songs must be school appropriate. The top five nominated songs will be put to a vote at a later date. The nomination Google form closes on Wednesday at 2 p.m. See Mr. K in room 825 with any questions. Listen up Spartans. All this week during both lunches, BSU will be selling popsicles and paletas. It's getting hot outside, so having a popsicle or paleta would be a great way to cool down. So eat your lunch and enjoy a sweet, refreshing treat. Popsicles are two for one dollars and paletas are two dollars each. What's up Spartans? I know it's been a minute, but I'm back with your CMTV Sports Report. Last Thursday, Spartan Volleyball played Palo Verde. Even though the boys fought hard, the Panthers came out with the win. Three sets to zero, 19 to 25, 14 to 25, and 20 to 25. Brandon Chambers had 15 assists and four digs. TJ Alelima had five kills, one dig, and one ace. Kenji Abertik had four kills and three digs. Softball had a big victory against Chaparral, winning 16 to three last Thursday. McKenna Weber pitched four and two thirds innings, allowing three hits, three runs, and striking out six. The Lady Spartans racked up 20 hits in the game with Destiny Lopez having four hits at four at bats. We got two baseball games to update you about. Last Thursday, the Spartans lost a close game to Coronado nine to seven. Demuth, Sanchez, Flores, and Abbott all had two hits in the game. And Andrew Overland went five innings allowing seven hits, five runs, and striking out four. Now to the second game from Friday, we took a loss against Faith Lutheran, 13 to four. Phil Abbott went two for three at the plate and went yard in the second inning. Track participated in a 34 team invitational this past weekend at Silverado. CMHS did not earn any first place finishes. We had several outstanding performances and personal records set by boys 4x200, 4x800 relay teams, and the girls 4x100, 4x200, and 4x400 relay teams. Shout out to Javier Cota on pole vault and Christian Magaña in the 3200. And that's it for your CMTV Sports Report. My fault I haven't been present in these announcements, guys. My mom got mad at me. She grounded me. I've been getting too lit on the weekends. You already know. But that's it for your CMTV Sports Report. I hope to see you guys soon on here again. Dance team tryouts are happening today, Spartans, in Portable 2 after school. If you have any questions about the tryouts or questions about the dance team, then please see Ms. Gonzalez in room 208. The tryout schedule is set for today at 1.30 p.m., then Thursday, April 20th, Tuesday, May 2nd, and Thursday, May 4th. Last Friday, we had the Spartan God Talent Show here at Simron. There was a wide range of talent and performances by students. There were singers, dancers, lots of talented students here at CMHS. Third place went to Samaje McDuffie. Second place went to Andrea Driscoll. And first place went to Asia Johnson. She brought the house down with her I Will Always Love You Whitney Houston song. Great job to everyone that performed. Finally, Drama Club is meeting this Friday in the theater after school. Remember Spartans, here at Simron, the C is for commitment, the M is for motivation, the H is for honor, and the S is for success. Have a good day Spartans.